we have finally made it to our room and it is after two o'clock we got here quarter to quarter to 12 so now it's two and a half hours since we checked in the room the design of the room makes it look quite small and quite tight i think it is slightly bigger than the interior room that we had in meraviglia it looks a bit smaller than the meraviglia interior room that we had but they have a sofa bed here a bed that looks nice and large the storage is quite tight i think in the meraviglia we had quite a lot of storage this one looks quite small and it has very few hangers again so we'll have trouble unpacking a little bit there's a bit of shelf down there and a few shelves here with a safe and a few drawers but accessing is going to be quite difficult because it is very tight and it's not easy to move the doors so now that oh, they have to be really pushed in so to access their drawers nice clean drawers And it has some more storage here in the table and a little stool, nice new, it's got a fridge to keep your drinks cool. Oh, they filled it up so we have to ask them to take these things out or put them somewhere on the side. And they have ice bucket and glasses and a couple of other shelves here to put your things that you need access all the time and there is a nice large mirror here as well so this has been the whole boarding process it's been quite fraught uh, it's been long-winded and now we can relax and rest and enjoy the view see Miami from here and um, this is the bathroom it's not very big but functional um, shower is okay size and they have a line if you wanted to wash your clothes and you can just hang them up to dry and there's a cupboard down here a little bit for your rubbish stuff Let's see what the quality of the toilet tissues are on Memesi. They have um, sunblock blinds, but we haven't used them because we like to see the lights or the sunlight as we wake up. But the curtain is also fairly sunblocky anyway. Um, it, it's not a light one that if you have just the curtain, you can get some light in. Um, it's not like a net curtain. So as you can see, it's fairly dark as well. You won't be able to look out and um, have a bit of privacy, that kind of thing. So if you want to see outside, you'll have to have um, both the curtains open. The balcony is large, but and also it is very, very private. So nobody can see you in the balcony unless they are, if, if you are standing there and leaning forwards, then only you can see if somebody is standing outside. Otherwise you can be here sunbathing, sitting down and you would be fine. Nobody can see you. So the bed is really, really, really nice very comfortable the pillows are great so that's what MSC is doing really well the only problem is that I wish it was the other way around that the bed was near the window and the sofa here because it is very difficult to access the wardrobe and I am not grunting for effect it is actually that difficult and that hard to open and close them. It's 
especially with the lack of space and there is charging point only on one side of the bed not on both sides there are plenty of um, charges on the near the table plenty of storage but it's quite difficult to open hair dryer mini bar but we emptied it all out so we can put our own water and drinks and of course the beautiful view from uh, the balcony we are in um, Docton St. Thomas's today Virgin Island Charlotte Emily so the view has been really superb from every angle and the balcony is really nice and large the first one was um, that we cruised on our very first cruise was Meraviglia um, but it was an interior cabin I don't think we'll ever go back to the interior cabins again one is a sofa bed of course we haven't tried to open it and see um, how it works but um, if you had kids with you it'll be useful there is a extra footstool and a table that you can pull out which is quite nice plenty of open storage as well bathroom is really tight it's just about big enough for one person to take a shower and the toilet is very close to the the um, under sink cupboard I don't think they needed the cupboard there um, and I'm pretty short so for me it's tight so I don't know what happens to people who are tall um, and plenty of um, open storage towels you can have them replaced as many times as you want but they clean the room twice on the door is the evacuation procedure and your uh, muster station and the air conditioning it's it works quite well you can just turn it up and down as you need it of course it's very hot so we haven't tried to see if the warm air comes out of it or not so let us know which one's your MSC favorite ship mine is still Meraviglia um, well, it is. It was my first um, c um, cruise ship, but still, the design of that is a um, lot better than the uh, seashore. And I think in Virtuoso, there is the 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 bed is on the other side, and the sofa is on this side. So I think MSC has just changed it for the sake of changing it. So let us know which one is your favorite cruise ship of MSC. Have you cruised on MSC before? And if you would, which one would be your favorite? If you like the video, click like and subscribe. And I'll see you for the next review and travel videos. Bye.